hello everyone so today we are going to work on these npc characters uh, and houses so these npc characters has houses now so when they are working maybe they will be working outside but they, when they need to sit they will come inside the house and take a seat in these chairs or when they want to sleep in the night time there are beds inside the house so they will come inside and sleep sleep in these uh, beds so this is a part of unreal engine 5 open world series that i'm working on you can access the full series here and we previously worked on this character interaction and behaviors where how they find beds and how to sleep and how they move these boxes how rest on sit and rest things like this and how they determine when it is night time when it is daytime when it rains and find shelter when it rains so here is a demonstration now it's daytime now so some of them will be sitting on chairs some of them will be working like this moving these boxes and they randomly do those things and in a while so I can speed up time of day system so it's actually now around 1 30 pm so I can speed up time see I just speed up the game so once the sun down and it's night time now so they will be going to bed Now they are sleeping and someone else should be sleeping in other bed see yeah and when the sun rises, let me speed up time again that's the moon okay and the sun rises so they will wake up now see all right so and going back to work all right so that's the life of NPCs so the main thing we are going to focus on is setting up these houses and how to make them walk through the houses how to set their collisions set the collisions uh, to allow navigation easily without getting stuck and later on we will work on things like uh, the ownership of houses like one npc has assigned has a assigned house so they will not randomly go to any house and sleep they will have a house that is for them predefined so this like that will be worked on next so before we get started i'd like to remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all the other projects that i have done in the channel in my patreon page so to the day there are like 1600 videos and you can download all of all the project files for each of those videos that i have done so feel free to check it out i'll leave the link in the description below and let's get started with the tutorial so this is the house that i have designed so i'm not planning to add the roof yet because i need to uh, be able to see how the npcs behave inside the house so that's why i only added the wall and the floor so i have exported this as an fpx so i'm gonna go ahead and import this into my unreal project here under meshes i have house let me drag and drop right now this is the mesh 
so now we need to fix this k first so in blender i meant this to have a scale of if i look from here one two three four five six seven eight so 40 meters in this way so now let's check if that is that is scale is still here by measuring so 320 oh sorry that's not the house this is the house so yeah 100 1460 so this is like a centimeter so it's 40 meters so scale is correct now the next thing we need to make sure is oh where should i place this house let me place it over here and we need to make sure the collisions are correct so let me open the object and if i show simple collisions this is how it looks like so we will have to manually add collision boxes to make this work correctly otherwise if i try to do with this i don't think we would be able to get accurate results see it's always goes wrong so let me remove collision and manually add so collision box simplified collision so if i go to a side view enable scale mode we can scale it down so we might have to have a lower snapping value for scale and yeah. so this is for the base if you press alt and drag you can duplicate this so i will now create one to match the size of a wall well let me disable snapping so that i can exactly match this And if I go to the top view, now this is too big, so I need to make it match with the wall. So, still too big. Well, I'll leave it at this scale. Now, let's go to the perspective view so here we have a door so we don't want to cover that so therefore now we have to manually set the conditions like this this would be a bit time consuming so also there is an option to enable complex collision also but i like to keep these simple collisions it's better for performance as well press alt and drag to duplicate oh this is a window so we don't need to leave a hole here okay just like this i'll complete the collisions okay i added all the collision boxes now let's see so when i press p okay so here it doesn't consider as a 
part. So maybe this the space is not enough. And another thing is it feels like uh, this should be a bit bigger because see when I stand near a door it's almost like my height, the character side. So we can well here. Let's say 1.3. Uh, let me start from the daytime. Ah, it's sinking to the real world. It's already daytime, so that's why. Okay, how about this scale? Now actually it has calculated the parts correctly. Right, let me walk around and see if I can. Yep. Yeah. I can move around the house without any issue. Okay, now uh let me put the house over here. and let's have two houses because we have four beds and put the beds inside the houses bed seems way smaller now Two bits also in the other way, other house. Mm, I actually reduced the house size to 1.2 because 1.2 felt a little too large. Uh, we can put these chairs also inside the house, so something like this. So if you put something like a TV here, that would look cool. So they can go inside and rest. I'll put the chairs here. Dumbbell barbell. Okay, now let's play. He's going to sit. They are moving the boxes inside the house. Okay. Oh, this collided with the house. Ah, chairs should move up a little bit. And 
ਕਰੀ ਤੇ ਵਾਟ ਹੈਵਨ ਟੂ ਦੇ ਇਟ ਤੇ ਰਨ ਇਨ ਟੂ ਈਚ ਅਦਰ ਐਂਡ ਗੋਟ ਇਟ ਸਟਕ ਆਈ ਗੈਸ ਸੋ ਲੈਟ ਮੀ ਚੇਂਜ ਦ ਲੋਕੇਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਦਿਸ ਯਸ so that might not happen anyway we might need to address the issues when they can't find a path or when they fail to find a path we need to do something about that is it on sitting here no uh, when it is the right time they will go and sleep but still it's 3 can i speed this up i think i set up a shortcut yeah okay now it's night time once this excess is so what they should go to bed this guy is going to bed yeah that is it the other one yeah he's sleeping okay is anyone in here someone else is coming to this bed right where is the other guy should be in the other bed no okay there all right now let me speed up so sunrise is they will wake up and start working here yeah. slow down morning yeah take a seat this guy is starting right away working out okay so all right uh so for the moment these guys don't have like a concept of ownership of the house so maybe next time we should implement a system that assigns for one npc this is his bed so they should always go to his bed something like that and so uh, based on that the ownership of the house would be decided so yeah and we will add more things like instead of just working out let's set things like doing work like office work or going to some place go to stores go to shop to buy stuff maybe add a kitchen here and cook things like that too by the way for these boxes they were always going over here i think that's zero zero location Oh no. Why were they always going there? Oh, da, right. 2000. Okay. So let's do something like this. Let me select all the boxes. reset this uh not reset 2000 is x value of everyone so here and the begin play i'll set destination to at the location and 
to active over grid multiply this by let's say two thousand add together and set so it will move forward 2000 units so now if someone decided to go pick up a box they should be moving it somewhere over here see <coughs> right okay so thanks for watching as always project files will be available for downloading patreon page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of patreon club see you in another episode goodbye